So yes, God of War Ragnarok is releasing November 9th, 2022. And there's a couple things about this date that actually brings up some interesting points that kind of puts focus on 2022, maybe even 2023 if I really stretch it. But I always want to do these videos if there's an interesting thing that I want your opinions on, your constructive and respectful opinions. Hey, it's Keebs. And yeah, a lot of us thought God of War Ragnarok would not be coming out this year, but it is. They put out like this you know, image along with a um, a full-blown trailer that's cinematic, you know, collector's edition. But everybody's talking about that, you know, like, oh my God, I'm so hyped. God of War Ragnarok's coming soon, blah, blah, blah. But the real thing that I think is kind of the more interesting points is what this says about this year, including things like the Game Awards and its timing being very hilarious if you think about thinking of Starfield and it's it's something that follows a very busy month of October. Like October is a super busy month in terms of gaming. Overwatch 2, there's Marvel's Midnight Suns, uh, Plague's Tale, Requiem. That's one of my most anticipated games of the year. Mario plus Rabbids and 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 Persona 5 for Xbox and Switch, Gotham Knights, Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2. And then literally, if you see here nothing in November for now, except for Ragnarok and Pokemon, you know, in terms of like big releases, there's obviously Pokemon. That's it's think, say what you want about Pokemon. That's going to be a big release. And it's just funny. There's currently really nothing in November. So that's funny because if you think about it, the funny thing, and we don't know when, Bayonetta 3 is coming out. We don't know when Party Animals is coming. Am I, am I the only one that's excited for Party Animals? <laughs> but this date, November 9th, is literally basically the same exact time that Starfield was going to come out, which was going to be like Xbox's big game this year. And I don't, again, I just find comparisons fun. I'm not trying to fuel any wars. I just find them fun to talk about. And I think that's hilarious that if they went through with this, it's like, bro, you you having the, both these guys coming out at the same time, that's hilarious. But that didn't happen. And in fact, with a lot of people thinking, there's a lot of people thinking that God of War Ragnarok would not come out this year. And I wonder if it's even a statement to say that it is, in fact, coming out this year. <laughs> because because a lot of people thought it would make it to 2023, which admittedly, I think that would have made it hilarious because 2023 is already insane of a year with Final Fantasy 16 and Starfield and blah, blah, blah. But if Ragnarok got pushed 2023, that would make it the craziest year in gaming we have had in many years. But... <laughs> This is almost maybe a statement, you know? It's like, all right, well, Bethesda and Xbox push back their game and we're releasing ours on time. I don't want to talk about that anymore, though, because then fanboys are going to take that out of proportion. But I just think that's an interesting topic to be like, was that a statement, potentially? It doesn't even need to be a statement because it's like, nope, uh, things were fine. We were, we were good to go. And yeah. But the other question I wanted to propose to you guys is the Game Awards. There's a lot of people that are thinking that the Game Awards will be, you know, it, it's an Elden Ring show. It's just going to be the Elden Ring show this year, which I agree. But Ragnarok was supposed to be the thing that could compete with the Game Awards this year. And it is. It's still, it's, it's still a 2022 game. Great. But the problem with its date being November 9th, 2022 that is incredibly close to being nominated like like that it's still under the cutoff line but it's incredibly close and i almost wonder if that will hinder it people will still be allowed to dominate it but i feel like it will either hinder it or help it because there was like say halo infinite here halo infinite wasn't eligible to be nominated because it technically had a release date 
including its beta. They both fell past November 15th, which is usually that's the cutoff date around there. But it still won the Player's Choice Award. And uh, I also think of Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order. And that was a game that released literally on the cutoff, November 15th. And then this is a list of like the game nominees for 2020. At the end of the year of 2020. And then Jedi Fallen Order gets nominated like, you know, the year later. So my question is, will this hurt or help? God of War Ragnarok in terms of the Game Awards. It'll be very fresh in people's minds and maybe that'll make them have a bias towards it because it's so fresh in their minds. But uh, I don't doubt... Like, if it is eligible, I personally do not doubt it being nominated for a lot of things. Winning it still is Elden Ring's comp. Like, it's it's the year of Elden Ring. That Yeah. But it could be wrong. Who knows? Maybe it could. Maybe it could. Spark that debate in the comments. Like, could there be such potential loving craft here that's just like i thought elden ring was amazing i don't know but what but what is the potential thoughts that you the viewer has on this being released at the same time as starfield basically was going to be will this hurt or help it in the game awards and november is anything else going to be able to compete with it in november or come out in november chat with me in the comments and don't forget to be geek be proud. Be awesome.